Hey everyone, my name is Joel at Dissecting DIY and today we're going to go over the Max Hall trailer hitch. As you can see, uh, this is the trailer hitch behind me. It's the box that came in. That's most of the uh, one a quarter inch uh, plywood that is uh, used to protect it. But today we're going to go ahead and uh, put this together and uh, then see how it does lifting a generator. This is what the... Um, parts list layout should look like when you uh, take everything out of the box. These I bought extra on Amazon and uh, we're going to go over how to assemble this today. And this right here is the arm that will uh, actually hold the item. As you can see this is the 1,750 and 500 pound um, connection points. This um, here pivots, you should probably grease this up um, and this is going to go into that. <clears throat> here you have all your bolts. Here, nuts, uh, lock washers, and these um, these snap bolts here, and then the uh, trailer hitch, uh, locking pins. <laughs> Okay, now that we've attached that, so I made sure that the trail hitch pin was in. This is tightened down to not slip out. And then I set the height. And that's it, that's it for that section. Now this section might be confusing to some because of the bolts list. Um, they just basically say that there's bolts in it, but um, you'll have two of these. These are going to go attach for the hydraulics here and here. This is going to be on the pivot arm right here. And the way I was able to figure that out is just the distance that the bolts had to travel. So let's get started on that. For this, You'll have a washer and a lock washer, as well as a bolt. And that. So now that that's done, we're going to put the arm on the bed of the truck, or on its uh, swing. <clears throat> now if you're wondering if uh, this should be greased up, there's actually some grease already in there. Uh, when you take it apart, you're just going to have to be careful. Okay. 
Now before you start swinging this around, you really want to pay attention to this pin. Because if you don't, you can actually end up swinging this arm into your truck. So while you have the load out here, you just make sure that it's not going to hit. And then when you want to swing it the other way, put the pin here. This will probably be when it's up, the item's up in the air and you'll have less of an issue with um, it swinging in and damaging your vehicle. So it's a smart idea. Okay, now it's starting to rain. I'm going to have to hurry up. But um, as you can see, this is where you kind of want to pay attention. Because <clears throat> this is going to be the load. So uh, 500 pounds or less. 750 pounds or less, or a thousand pounds or less. So I am going to just use the middle because I'm going to be lifting a generator and then a snowblower. The snowblower is about 500 pounds. Okay, so that is how to put together the Max Hall truck train. Um, this has a 1,000 pound max rating. That would be the uh, setting here on the uh, innermost side. I am a little disappointed at the height that I get out of it. I kind of wish it did get a little bit higher and that they had extended the arm out just a little bit more uh, so I could get things to the center of my truck and obviously a little bit higher. I did have to mess around with the straps a bit just to get that little bit more height that I needed and then of course um, when putting things in I noticed that I could probably get this a little bit closer to the truck but of course you know you, you do you don't want to damage your truck uh, when something swings or, or moves around so the, the more distance the better so the only that that's the only drawback that I see to this is um, the, the the height of the hydraulic could have just been a little bit a little bit bigger and the length of the arm a, a little bit more uh, outward so I can get things into the center of the truck. But um, that being said, I do have a generator in the back of my truck now. It means I can bring it to places, um, whether it's a job site or if it's a, you know, a, just to bring it in for service. If you don't want to do your own service, this is a, a nice gadget to have. I will try to put um, the truck truck crane to use for a thousand pound item. Uh, I'm going to see uh, my, my snow blower is about 550 pounds. We'll see if I can't use this, um, the, these other options to get that in there. But uh, not, not a bad device. Uh, I do recommend it. And uh, that's it. That's the Max Hall uh, truck crane.